Hey everyone, Rat Benatar here from the All Rats team, part of the Third Web community. And today, we are talking about how to secure your NFTs with IPFS. IPFS is a secure, decentralized way to ensure that the file content inside of your NFT is always accessible to your holders. So we'll be talking a little bit more about what IPFS is and how Third Web allows you to utilize IPFS as part of the minting process. As always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to our channel, and share it with a friend who may enjoy it. Now, when you create an NFT, you need to provide a link to an asset, like an image, and that image can be stored on your computer or some server. If the image is gone, then that NFT is useless. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, how could that even happen? Just think back to any time that you've ever tried to access a given website and your browser gave you an error telling you that the website was not accessible. That's because the majority of the websites that you visit every day are served to you through largely centralized hosting services. If those services go down, so does all of the content on those sites. Now, IPFS, which stands for Interplanetary File System, solves this by saving your images on a network of different nodes. It's similar to how any decentralized blockchain operates. It's not controlled or hosted by any single person or any centralized network of nodes. By having multiple points of failure, it helps ensure that the file and image data inside of your NFTs is protected and always available. So when you mint your NFTs, I'm happy to share that we just take care of this for you. You never have to worry about this step at all. Just focus on your project, bring it to us when you're ready, and rest assured that when you mint an NFT with Third Web, we make use of the highest possible standards. We don't use local storages or APIs. We make sure that you own the smart contract, you own the NFT, and we save the content in the best possible way. If you wanna learn more about IPFS and more technical information on how it works, be sure to visit the links in the description of this video. Otherwise, if you just have any other general questions that we can help you with, please share it down below. We would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.